wishing to slay the dragon with Fafnir? Yeah, Fafnir. That one. Takes his father's sword, Minning. Minning? Disguised as the West Wind, he goes into the forest, surprises Fafnir and his lair, and slays him. Whereupon he is unable to understand the speech of birds. Meanwhile, while there is father, Albrecht, disguised as the sacred goat, tells him that the spirit of Gunther... Wait, oh, Gunther, what is that? Did you ring for a table? No. Sorry, son. You got the wrong room. Aren't you lurking? Hey, yes, your highness. I have the exact same suit. <laughs> I was running away, your highness. Here, sit down. Don't pull the chair. But the queen has ordered... Never no, mind what the queen has ordered. Just sit. <laughs> now tell me, what's this about? I'll just go out on the parapet and stay there naked and catch a chill and die. That'll show Show what? He'll be sorry. Who? Horrible Harry. You mean big, nice Harry? Wait just a second. What did you do to him? What did I do to him? You must have done something. You're talking the way I did once, but I'm too afraid to go home because I give my brother a bloody lip. It was an accident. <laughs> we had a little disagreement. So you decided to run away? He said some perfectly horrible things to me. Oh, I see. Then I guess the only thing you can do is pack up and get out. Unless, of course, you just go to him and apologize. Listen, that here is a wonderful boy. Why, he really loves you too. You were on the road for two weeks and never laid a finger on me. Oh, your highness. Okay, so why don't you just get me some pretty that shows you're a girl and patch things up with him. Oh, and Larkin. Try not to look helpless. Men don't like girls that are too strong. Well, unless you're me. <laughs> oh, Your Majesty, I don't know how to say this. If, if it's a girl, I want to name a friend. What if it's a boy? You better go to bed. <laughs> Leave the history book. Well, I'm sure you're going to pass Mama's test tomorrow. At least I hope you. Good night, Fred. Good night. <laughs> <laughs> and so the young prince fought there, having seen the dragon Faulkner with the sword Minnie, rescued the princess Frigga, and together they mounted the sword Trigga, where they rode to Gundabar, and they were married. And they lived happily ever after. One black. They all lived happily, happily, happily ever after. The couple walks happily out of the chapel eternally tight. When the curtain Double the length of her 
buses. She was kept in a tower for years by a wicked old witch.
Oh. All right. Well, I guess I'll go. Oh. Well, wait a moment. Yes. Sir. Uh, thank you. May I have that flower minstrel? It's a memento of the good old days. Oh, thank you very much. Say, no white cardamom, even though I'm banished, but that doesn't take effect until Dicker. Uh, how about we go down to the wine cellar and split a bottle and talk some more about, uh, you know, talk some more? Sure, sure. But I've started something here I'd like to finish first. You go on ahead and I'll join you in two seconds. I'll be waiting.
Sol.
Silken swishing silhouettes wraps us in a gentle trance. Deep in Morpheus' arms we lie. Off we go to Betty Pie. I think I'm getting a star. Oh, bring the poppy and mandrivora instead. Drowsy incense, sweet aroma, wraps us in a gentle coma. Murmuring voices seem to say, Mr. Sandman's on his way. That ought to get us to sleep, shouldn't it? The sleeping draught. Here it is, Rousey. That's right. Drink a little extract of opium and warm milk, I always say. <laughs> right before going to bed. Drink it down. <laughs> now I'm sure you're going to get a good night's sleep. I wish I could say the same for myself. And just to make sure you have no trouble drifting off, I've prepared a special treat for you. Bring on the Nightingale of Samarkand. No one hides the Nightingale of Samarkand. Naturally, I do everything myself.
tell yourself. So be here in a minute. Don't talk. It comes clean. And someday, dear, we'll find a true princess for you, so don't worry. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Your Majesty. All here to see the princess on her way. Since you such a favorite of our, ours, I've decided to have a nice extra special consolation prize for her. Sir Studley? Here, Your Majesty. Charming chocolate. Dauntless! <laughs> Where is the little slug of bed anyway? 37,428? 37,428 what? Gee, what do you stuff your mattress with? Jousting equipment? What do you mean? I mean, that bed ought to be moved down to the torture chambers. You didn't sleep? I never shut my eyes. You passed! Passed what? The test. Mama, P. Mama put a P in her 20 mattresses, and you felt it. And now we can be married. Hooray! <laughs> Black and blue. Now don't you think she's pretty? She's not pretty, she's beautiful. Why do you have to smile? Fellas, dear, you better do the wedding arrangements and start looking for a small kingdom for us women. About saying we don't want to live with the in laws. <laughs> oh, she's going to catch a cold on that bare table. I better take her to our room. Thomas, wait. What should I wait for, Mama? To give this man a proper consideration. She passed the test. I said, wait. Now, throughout this heartbreaking business of trying to find you a new princess, I have never nagged, never interfered, and never expected one solitary word of sympathy. Shh, Mama, she's trying to sleep. But I will not let you throw yourself away on this little nobody. Mama, quiet. I must say, I've never trusted anyone with those shifty little eyes that mean I told you to shut up! <laughs> it happened. It happened. The prophecy, the mouse devoured the hawk. Uh, the queen can't talk! I. 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 What? I can! The king talks! And I've got a lot to say. Well, good night, everyone.
our hearts for everything that they've done for us. And there's one last person I'd like to acknowledge, that's Mr. David Wood. Where do you run off to? <laughs> Thank you.